Welcome to Epcot. We are so excited to be here. Our Guardians of the Galaxy number has already been called. We got up at 7 a.m. and got into that virtual queue and we're boarding group 65. And here we are already ready to be called. So that's the way to go or you can buy an individual Lightning Lane. Either way. Either way, it's going to be an awesome day at Epcot. So where We checked in and now we our number has been called for our virtual queue to Guardians of the Galaxy and we are headed that way. It's our first time to ride it and we are really excited about it. We have finally made it over to the Guardians of the Galaxy ride and we are so excited to finally ride this cool indoor coaster. We'll tell you all about it. advances. From artificial intelligence to intergalactic travel, Xandar stands at the forefront of innovation. With his early concepts for the experimental prototype, Community of Tomorrow, we are gratified that he and you appreciate the value of good design. Xandar became a galactic hub for advanced technology and innovative urban planning. So this line is almost like a museum to Xandar and the Nova Corps with special appearances by Peter Quill and other Guardians of the Galaxy. I'd like to like actually look around and look at the ships and all the memorabilia, but the line kind of moves a little bit quicker than that. But it's actually a really, really cool line. So it was your idea to help Xandar? More or less. Okay, okay. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. I am Centurion Tau Merit, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Well, that was pretty awesome. Amazing! Oh my gosh, the whole time I was giggling like a child. So was my child next to me. It was so amazing. Well, and Terry Crews told us that we couldn't film, so that's okay. I got to enjoy it and really look around. The problem is I need to ride it like three or four more times to really see what's going on. Like, I don't really know what the story was. I was mesmerized. There was like so much visual action and sounds and awesome rock and roll music. It was just, that was a, a, an experience overload. I would describe it as Space Mountain meets Rock and Roller Coaster with some awesome new technology. That's a pretty good description. Why yeah, not? yeah. <laughs> a lot of humor thrown in too. Really, really incredible ride. I am the broker, and I am delighted to offer my wares. So this is Treasures of Xandar, and it's the uh, gift shop you get at the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's got a lot of cool stuff from Marvel and Guardians of the Galaxy.
Willkommen in Deutschland. We're going to have lunch at Biergarten, which is one of our favorite places because there is a show involved here and the food is just yummy. So we're excited to have lunch. Plus we're hungry. <laughs> So Beer Garden has returned to a buffet, which the kids were excited about, but we really liked the family style because it forced us to try new things and um, they could bring different things that we liked. So one of the two places we wish would have stayed family style would have been this one and probably Crystal Palace too. But it's still gonna be delicious. So we just ate lunch at Beer Garden, the buffet. We saw the show. What'd you think, Lulu? I loved it, it but it didn't play uh, my favorite song. Yeah, the Edelweiss guy wasn't there today, which is one of our favorites, but still. The show was pretty good, the food was good. What was your favorite food you ate? Um, the applesauce. <laughs> applesauce was good. I liked schnitzel, I liked the sausage, even the uh, the, the uh, beef and beer soup was really good. That was really, uh, I just loved all of it. Aurora just walking through uh, France. Saw Belle too. Princes are out and about. We are gonna go ride Remy's Ratatouille Adventure! Yay! Oh, that was so fast. Here we go on Ratatouille. <laughs> We are going to go see Remy. Oh, oh, oh. Eat some cheese. Um, we, we, we are going on Remy's the Ratatouille adventure. Mm -hmm. Yes, but what about here? Huh? For the whole idea. For Pauvin? No. Lightning lane for the win, guys. We were in and out. We walked on that ride, rode it, and now we're out probably in a span of 15 minutes. It was really great. It's such a cute ride. It's not high thrill, it's low thrill, but it's so fun, and the technology really fascinates me, so we really enjoy it. Something's not right about this picture. Can't put my finger on it, though. I'm at the orange slush stand. I think there's an official name for it, but to me it's the orange slush stand. You can't go to France without getting the famous orange slush, which is Grand Marnier, rum, Grey Goose orange, and orange juice. So you can get a regular slush or you can get one with an extra shot. 
Um, we just got a regular one because it's just really hot today, but it's excellent and very refreshing on a hot day like today. Hi there, come right this way. And happy birthday. Thank you. I love your answers. I love the meat. Your money is spent. You know, Sven got his tongue stuck on an icicle this morning. And I had to pour hot chocolate over to get it off. But he loves hot chocolate, so I think he just thought he was getting a treat. Do you like hot chocolate too? Yeah. What do you like to put in your hot chocolate? Like Marshmallows, those are so good. Christoph did try to put whipped cream in his hot chocolate once, but it gave him a little whipped cream mustache. He is a bit of a fixer effort. <laughs> Maybe next time we could try the marshmallows and whipped cream. So just keep Chris off away. He's actually been here for Halloween. Oh, I'm sure you looked amazing. In the meantime, shall we snuggle in? Hello, close. I'll smile right at my horse out the window. Perfect. <laughs> Would you just like a warm hug for you though? Thank you so much. So great seeing you. Mom. I'll make sure we have extra hot chocolate for next time. Okay. Sounds good. Hello everyone. You can skate right on it. Are you both sisters too? Yes. Just like all of these. You know my sister and I together to portrait. And he's very good at snowball fun. He likes to But maybe next time we all can go to snowball together. And then we can have a snowball fight too. Maybe us against the snowman. Thank you for keeping it cool with your I look forward to our sister's notice. <laughs> Thank you. We went to the Royal Summer House to meet Elsa and Anna. There was no wait, which was very exciting. And it was cool in here. And they were so sweet. And they talked to the girls about so many things. Um, it was just a really cool experience. So don't miss the Royal Summer House in Norway, because that is where Elsa and Anna live. So we're over here next to the figment exit of the ride where it says like Pixar shorts and that's where Mickey is. Um, he's kind of hidden. It's kind of a hidden character spot. So if you don't know about it, you'll never be able to find it. Um, but there's hardly ever a wait over here to see Mickey. It's so much better than waiting in the Main Street Theater and those long, long lines. It's the best place to see it. But it's just Mickey, nobody else. Mickey! Oh. <laughs> Your ears Hi, Mickey. Oh, Kathy's oh, sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first time at Mickey. The best. <laughs> the best. Hi, Mickey. We'll see you on the Disney Wish. <laughs> All right, Captain Mickey. We're riding the Imagination Station with our friend Figment. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, and I know all about the senses. Come on, everybody, here we go! Woohoo! You win one cent! Well, apparently weather has shut Test Track down again, so I think we're going to go ride Spaceship Earth. Thank the Phoenicians. But the Phoenicians, who trade with all of them, have a solution. They create a simple common alphabet, adaptable to most languages. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Phoenicians. They invented them. Authentic Italian pizza that you can find. Papa, da, pa, 
Oh, that's a big pizza pie. We're excited. Yummy. Woo. The Annapoli is always excellent. The quality is so good. Sometimes I forget how good it is and then we eat here again. I'm like, oh yeah, it's really good. It's definitely the most, the closest thing you'll get to authentic Italian pizza this side of the Atlantic in my opinion, but definitely at Walt Disney World. It's excellent. What a great day at Epcot. We got to finally ride Guardians of the Galaxy that we've been waiting for so long to do. And the rain stayed away and then we got to walk on just about every ride. It, the crowds were low. The food and wine festival was hopping. We had awesome meals and we just had a, just a really, really nice day at Epcot. Is there ever a bad day at Epcot? A bad day at Epcot is still a better day at home though. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for some more content and we will see you real soon.